I just want to do a, a quick little note here before we get into the video. I'm not going to be uploading for the next seven days. I'm going on vacation. I leave um, tomorrow morning at um, like 4 a.m. I got to wake up and start getting ready. So yeah, seven days. Don't expect there to be any new videos and I'll get one out as soon as I get home. Um, and that being said, let's go ahead and uh, hop into um, today's content everyone welcome back to another stronghold crusader 2v2 today we are in the first game of round three we have philip and wazir versus caliph and sheriff i'm interested to see exactly how the philip's early game can compare against someone like the caliph let's go ahead and get right on into it speed is up to 500 let's get these lords moving make sure that they're getting everything set up all correct we've seen sheriff very recently in this spot um, we know it's a strong castle form. Again, uh, randomly generated spots, numbers-wise. Uh, not his best castle that we've seen from King Philip, but it'll do. It'll do. Um, both Wazir and Sheriff take a little bit longer to get up and running. Maybe it could cause for a little bit better of a game. Maybe this is not the exact castle that we've seen for Sheriff on this side, but still looking with those two front towers and ballistas, looking rather strong. Um, can he be able to take those? And... The raids aren't going to be able to do much as Caliph is also up right up and quickly. It may be possible able to shut down Philip. However, if I think the random number generator would have put Philip down here, I think he could have done very well in shutting down Sheriff early game, and we might have seen a different story come out of that. I will possibly have to run a test next. Not, not, not saying that Wazir here won't be able to do. Um, extremely good things as we see his first attack coming out rather strong. Um, two front ballistas still pushing in. As soon as they get in range of this ballista, it should be over, but enough to put a little bit of hurt on his eco. We see all of his buildings are sleeping right now or no workers. So that attack did hurt. Every attack is going to hurt. It is going to shut this gate for him. Um, sending in those assassins, Wazir, um, keeping up the pressure, and we do see Philip finally get into the eco, get down a stone thing. Sheriff definitely on the back foot here. Oh, uh, interesting castle from Wazir, I believe we have seen it before. Pretty strong with the three front towers. Wazir is a very good lord. His entire economy is based around bread. And that's kind of exactly how he does it. So it's going to be interesting to see. Um, he looks like he's gotten in the swing of things. Oh, lucky fire here for um, Sheriff able to... Oh, and he's inside and able to go straight up from that main gate. He needs to protect that just a little bit better. Still definitely on the back foot. Very strong start from the Wazir. Now pushing in Siege. That is annoying. Um, let's hopefully he stops that. Could lose that front tower. Does not. He is now sending out his first attack. I'm not sure that was really the move. All the assassins get burned. Both these people using assassins. And look at these armies up top. There's a lot of spearmen and swordsmen, along with the counter raid for Caliph. But Caliph has got archers. Um... He runs a pretty good eco, but not being able, the archers aren't strong enough to stop this raid, and they are in. Both of our lords on this left team here are pulling from pitch, as well as Wazir pulling from pitch here, but it looks like the pitch guy is stuck, and he doesn't have room for stockpile on that, so that's utterly useless. And here he is starting to stack up those horse archers. Those are gonna hurt Wazir, that is, oh sorry, Sheriff, that's gonna hurt Sheriff. That is a good amount of siege. Um, attacking here, and it looks like Sheriff is taking a beating. You know, so not not something we really see as Sheriff is um, quite good at defense. It's not it's not often that we that we do see him taking a beating here. He he just needs to get archer stacked. Um, Wazir looking like the greatest. Let's go ahead and check the uh, order of merit. And yes, I was right. Wazir. Then Caliph, then Philip, then Sheriff, obviously in last. And we are seeing a nice attack come in from... Nice attack coming in from Philip. That tower is going to be instrumental. If he can get enough swordsmen up into that, he could actually kill Caliph. Which would be um, very devastating for Sheriff. A Sheriff is kind of banking on Caliph getting that win up top. As of right now, he's not able to stop these constant attacks that Wazir is throwing here. Uh, assassins are shut down every single time with fire, and a counterattack is underway. Unfortunately, um, Wazir's defenses are looking a little bit stronger than Sheriff's at the moment. That is a good number of archers and fire throwers in this little front 
contraption here. I'm looking like a very strong game for Wazir. I'm trying to remember Wazir and Philip in the last round. I believe they lost a 1v2 to Saladon and Rat. That was their last game they played and they lost. And we know that Sheriff and Caliph lost to Pig and Lionheart in the last round. So both these teams are coming fresh off a loss, looking again to kind of prove that um, they can win a game. And we're getting that nice harass from Philip, able to get one stone thing down and one iron thing from Caleb. That is uh, annoying as I'll get out. That's something we will continue to see all game from him. Looking like this could be shaping up to be a rather long game. Wazir's in the full swing of things, already pushing out um, 300 military pop troop numbers and going for maybe his uh, sixth or seventh attack possibly at this point. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think that it's that it's enough. But we, we, we see a, another solid defense coming in from Sheriff. These are hurting him though. We, we see he hasn't even gotten his church up. Um, this I believe that that is the space that it would go in is right there and he's been having to play an insane amount of defense so he hasn't he hasn't gotten the full thing he's only thrown one attack and we see another attack coming in from Sheriff uh, or sorry from Caleb Caleb is gonna have to carry this game and I have been impressed with Caleb so far this tournament so far he's been one of the more underrated Lords for me um, we see he is pushing I do think that in the long run he could drop Philip I do think it's going to take a little bit. It's not like Philip has bad men. He's got a good number of swordsmen, spearmen, are an ugly distraction to a good amount of archers that he has here on defense. Overall, this is a very close game, a lot closer than what I thought it would be. I would have given the game probably to Philip and Wazir simply because of Philip's how good his early game is, but Kayla's been great with these front blisters. Um, they do big damage to knights like that, so it's been really good to hold them back. So, uh, Philip still putting out those knights. Uh, Wazir, an even bigger attack than last time. And we have just been trying to see Sheriff hold on here. And he is. But I don't. Oh, and he's built over Philip and now also technically Wazir. I believe it's just for the amount of men. And that was a big raid into the buildings there. But again, uh, front was, uh, those front ballistas were able to do a nice amount of defense. He's also got troops in the resources protecting. Um, I want to make sure that Caleb, yeah, he, he has them. Sometimes some of Caleb's castles don't have enough houses. So I just wanted to quickly make sure he does have peasants. He's in full swing. And our second or third attack coming in from Sheriff. All the assassins burned to death as usual for both these players. And he just isn't able to push what he should. But he is. He's, he's supporting a strong defense, and we see Caliph throwing another attack. I do think Caliph um, could potentially get the, the first kill here at some point. He has a good number of men going up. This could be rather upsetting to King Philip. This could definitely hurt. He is now sending the slaves into the eco. That would have been nice to see them set something on fire and get something down. Unfortunately, he did clear that out with his swordsmen. Definitely hurt that attack. Caliph is only going to build stronger. Same with Wazir. He'll be pushing those high troop numbers in just a little bit here. Um, we really see that he really is all about his wheat production here and just making bread. I guess that's the game plan. Bread and horse archers. And here we go. Another attack. I mean, it seems to be working. He is pushing a lot of horse archers forward now. And unfortunately, that siege tower did go up and he is going to send all of his men up and they are going to go straight to the king. Will Wazir be taking control of this game? He will not. It was not enough. Um, a very good attack though. That was, got to hear it. It's very good. It was good timing for him. And Oh, I thought, they was a, I thought these were all Wazirs. I was like, no wonder why they have population problems. He just built 50 lumberjacks. Losing in the field as well. Um, lost a lot of crossbow men there, Sheriff. And still, we have not seen him get got his chapel, or sorry, his church. He's just been holding off, and it's been um, really kind of devastating. Attack here coming in from Philip. Good fire burned all of those. Oh, no. Oh, and he is lucky that he did take that down. 
Um, that is a good number of swordsmen in, as well as the raid has been in this entire time, dropping buildings, dropping sheriff's buildings as well, helping out his partner. That was a very good attack from Philip. You know, in the top here and another raid coming in. In the top, we really just, I, I couldn't tell you who wins this right now. Both of their attacks are doing good damage. We've seen both of them really scratch the surface into each other's castles. And you know, this is <laughs> probably the longest that we've had lords stay alive. Most of the time, one, one lord will drop early and then it'll be a 2v1 and that, that'll maybe take a little bit, but this... And Philip goes into last stand mode here. That is a lot of Arabian swordsmen knocking on it. Philip, or sorry, Caliph could be getting a early advantage for, he team, for his team. I definitely know that Sheriff does need help down there and he will be getting in. That's a good number of Arabian swordsmen in. He will be definitely touching the king. I don't know if it's a kill though. I don't know how strong those are. I don't think it's enough. It is enough. And here we go. <laughs> he is indeed lost. That is unfortunate to say the least. Um, let's go ahead and speed this up. Caliph, I'm dead, my guy, but thank you for that super message. Really nice. I'm glad to hear it. Caliph now is going to start attacking the Wazir. Sheriff needs it. I think Sheriff I think Sheriff would have died against Wazir in the long run. I think Sheriff would have died against Philip in the long run. I think Philip maybe would have shut him down just a little bit faster with those early raids. Crossbows do not do good defending that. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> I think the random number generator that I used for placements maybe have really determined this game, which is unfortunate because Caliph taking a 2v1, that wouldn't have happened. And I don't exactly know how good Caliph's early game is, is to shut down Wazir. Um, that's a lot of slaves coming over to start his stuff on fire. It would it would be very interesting to see. It may, maybe it'll be something that I do here at some point. Uh, we get an attack from Sheriff, and we do see his church finally goes up. Um, so getting a little bit of extra income there. Wazir has a very strong castle here. And his, e his eco is running good. He has troops in the fields protecting. He has two groups. So hopefully he'll be able to handle that harass. It really just depends what Caliph decides to send at him and how often Caliph attacks. We still see Wazir is in first place. If he manages to take this 2v1, he will be the third lord in our tournament to do so. And I could see him killing Sheriff. He has gotten close. That really has not been a problem for him. It's more of can he defend an attack. And I think that's where... A majority of the Lord's struggle in a 2v1 is defending and attacking. You know, Saladon just <laughs> does so such a good job because he just has so much money that the troops he loses defending don't matter. He replaces them so quickly. Or someone, um, I believe Wolf now, in our last game. I haven't posted it yet, so I'm just filming this super early, but I have not posted the, the Wolf game at this point. But I believe he has taken a 2v1 at this. Uh, point now that you guys will have seen and we see just a massive number of horse archers unfortunately I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking a large amount of Arabian Knights are up but it was not enough that is unfortunate and we will have to see Wazir defend here for the first time he already has used most of his fire, false, never mind, I completely lied, and it looked like a very easy defense for him. Looks like there is a way up into all these towers that enemies can just walk into, but I believe there's a lot of traps and stuff, so that might be a very good distraction for the wazir that could potentially keep him alive a little bit longer. Very solid first defense from, K or from wazir from Caliph's attack. Caleb coming in with a 560 troop attack. Sheriff's going to be following soon. You can see his very high troop numbers there. Interested to see if Caleb does. He hasn't been using his siege in his attacks. As you can see here, the way he lines them up, they just get locked out. So he's been attacking with just men, and they really have not been doing much for the attacks. Um, Sheriff is going to be following an attack right after. It does look like his siege is also farther back. That is a lot of macemen going in. If he can get a good stack with macemen, that could be extremely dangerous. I don't know if there's a bucket there, and there is. 
As the second time that Wazir has been saved by one of his buckets up by the king, um, that would have killed him, I think, if um, a bucket hadn't gone off. We see the remnants of Caleb's Arabian Swordsman coming in, but it's not going to be enough to finish him. We also saw Wazir almost kill Sheriff the last time he attacked and had him down to nothing, but Sheriff has since rebuilt. That was a very good attack, I'd say. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Keep watching. Um, for reference point, this video just hit um, 45 minutes of filming. Um, they are throwing a large number of attacks here, and most of it is me just sitting here waiting for them to build up. So, back to another cut. Caliph attacking with 634 pop. Um, soon to fall, Sheriff's probably 700. They're going against a 400, just under 500. A military defense, let's see if they can get this time. Sheriff is attacking at the exact same time now. This is a double attack of absolutely insane proportions. Let's go ahead and see how well Wazir can defend, and they are inside. Let's go ahead and slow this down. Let's see if Wazir's got enough swordsmen to take out the initial blow, and then stack up the remaining, and then fire dump the rest. It does look like that was a very good start. Unfortunately, um, does look like Caleb's got more coming in, but maybe it isn't enough. It is not enough. Wazir with another insane defense of stopping Caleb and Sheriff. 725 troop attack here coming in from Sheriff. Let's go ahead and slow it down to 500. That is a fat group of macemen. Let's go ahead and see what he can do. Um, we haven't seen the usual and he is inside. We haven't seen the usual defenses from Wazir being put back. A lot of Macemen being absolutely burned to death. And he is up. And he has finally ended the game. Um, Wazir, very strong defense. Just an absolute craziness. I think at one point he was defending probably against more than a thousand troops there. Um, so yeah, I'd say man of the match. Troops drilled 6,346. A uh, man of the match, even though he lost, was Wazir. Absolutely crazy. Economy. Um, destroyed everyone else in game. Caliph surprised by that number. Very good to see. Yeah, that was crazy. Wazir, definitely the top lord of that game. Um, held on for so long. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump over to our bracket update. Uh, here we are with our bracket. First game, round three. Sheriff and Caliph taking that win after a hard loss against Lionheart and Pig last round. Next round we will see Sheriff and Caleb versus Frederick and Snake, and I'm going to go ahead and put my money now on Sheriff and Caleb. Frederick and Snake have just been doing absolutely horrible this tournament, so safe bet that Sheriff and Caleb will come up on top. Wazir and Philip, last round lost the 2v1 to Saladin and Rat. This round have lost a very good and long 2v2 against Sheriff and Caleb. Definitely Wazir has proven himself in this match right here that um, he's very powerful, <laughs> especially with that castle down in that bottom right corner. That was crazy defense. And next they would be going up against Wolf and Sultan, which my money's on Philip and Wazir, simply because whoever gets put against Sultan is going to defeat him easily. And if Philip ends up against across from Wolf, that early shutdown with those raids could be absolutely devastating. Now that being said, we've seen Wolf take raids from Marshall. Um, in round two, and he was able to stay alive, get up and running, and take a 2v1 after it. So, maybe, who knows, I could be wrong. As always, um, thank you for watching and tuning in, and I will see you all next time.